What is up, you guys? A new day, a new video. We're gonna get right into the action. Um, so first thing that I wanna go through is the breakup issue, figuring out why it's breaking up as much as it is and trying to solidify this tune in a way that it's daily drivable. I want to be able to take this car to work. I want to be able to take this car to anywhere that I want to go at that point in time. Um, but the first thing that I do want to talk about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the tape. Hold the actually, tape. Actually, you know what? Let me let him tell you about what is new for the, the vlog. Not only should you be able to hear me pretty clear, but you should be able to see me pretty clear as well. If you can tell a little bit of a clear voice. Yep, I will tell him. So, new mic, mic setups, setup. Yep. Brand new GoPro Hero 12 black. Amazing camera so far. You can do a lot of uh, a lot of fine tune adjustments with the Pro Tune. Pretty insane. It's looking it's looking really good. I think, personally, in my own opinion, this was needed years ago. Um, biggest step ahead for us right now is having two different mics which i'll grab the other but you know what let me let me stop you there i'm gonna go ahead and let him take over for the rest of the video um i hope you guys enjoy the the new crisp audio the very crisp and fine ultra high definition video and let's get to it well, i'll go ahead and click this bad boy on real quick so we have two different mics. I don't know how much this is gonna affect the audio right now. Uh, obviously in post, I'll be able to fix it, but two different mics, so now I can basically, if I have me and him standing here, then I can send the mic over his way and he can tell me his answer. He can pretty much do whatever he wants. I can go ahead and mute. So now it'll just be the one camera that's on me, which hopefully sounds crispy and clear. Um, but this is where we're going to be at. I'm going to go ahead and shut this one off. We should still be good on this one. Yep, still good. Still good. Um, but the double mic setup is going to be great for engine bay noises, exhaust notes. And then even on days where I don't feel like doing, the whole engine bay ASMR, I'll have a cam. Uh, uh, I'll have the camera inside with me along with the mic. And then I'll either put a mic on the exhaust or put it in the engine bay for all the noises. Um, but I'm not gonna waste a lot of time talking to you guys right now. I would love to get into the uh, entire meat and potato situation of what we got going on today. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this one and we're gonna send it off. All right, so like I was saying, let's get down to business and figure out exactly what is the issue with the tune. Why is the tune off? Why is it breaking up? Why does it sound like a Jake break? Um, the one thing that I am gonna do throughout this video is be testing the mic setup in the engine bay. packs off go through and check each of these uh, spark plugs and then we'll we'll see we'll see what we got going on all 
Alright, so the first one looks half decent. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I did switch this one out. So, whenever it was running really, really rich, uh, the strap looks really good though. It's in grayish in color. It's kind of what we're looking for is that grayish color. The one thing I did want to check on them is the gap. Um, I think I had them set to 30 thou, but if I can close that gap a little bit to eliminate any spark blowout, then I'll go ahead and try that. But so far, one looks good. Yeah, two as well. Strap is grayish in color. Usually signs of a healthy engine when it's gray like that. This one also, same way though. A little bit of darkness around the electrode. Not crazy, but <clears throat> rich conditions. But also the strap is what's telling me what I wanna see. That's one, that's two, okay, number three. It's looking about the same. And number four, same deal. I believe all of these are still gapped to that 30 thousandths, maybe a little bit more. I'd like to bring that gap down just a touch, maybe around 25 thou or 24 thou, um, and see if that might help. Um, I think everything that's happening so far though is all within the tune. Any of my KAT people, if you are in this video right now, please drop down in the comments below. Maybe there's something that you guys figured out that I'm still having struggles with and maybe that's exactly what's going on with mine. So definitely drop down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and obviously if you've experienced the same issue running a KAT, then you know we can help each other out in this situation. Couple Ugga Duggas. Obviously I'm not gonna keep it like that, you guys, don't worry. I'm gonna go through and give them a good little tighten. <clears throat> Half pass snug, if you know what I mean. And then we'll get the coils back on. That ain't going nowhere. Get the coils back on um, and see exactly what's going on here. That's done. I don't think my fuel injectors are clogged. It doesn't sound like spark blowout to me. To me, it sounds like timing. It really sounds like timing. And anytime I go wide open throttle and try to do like a clutch kit, it just balls. So, there's a couple weird things going on, but we're gonna get to the bottom of it. So, let's go ahead and figure the rest of this out.
but that right there kind of sums it up. It cleaned up a lot, so I went onto the timing tables in the tune, and I started to add half a degree. Half, half a degree here, half a degree there, all around that same range of uh, 3,500 RPM up to 4,000 RPM. And it cleaned it up a lot. Um, I'm not getting as many ignition knocks anymore. Uh, it did knock, or I, sh I shouldn't say it, it knocked, it cut when I did that little flip it around um, part. But all in all, you guys, I think I'm figuring out exactly what was wrong with this. And it's, it's starting to live up to the name of 800 horsepower monster. I'm actually gonna go into the log and I'm gonna pull a small section where I was full throttle, WOT, wide open, and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna translate it over to my dyno graph that ECU Masters has in their software. And I wanna see exactly what the number is. I wanna see if it'll tell me a good linear graph or if it's gonna be spotty again. And that was my other thing, how I knew that it had to do something with ignition, because whenever I did the same thing before on a wide open throttle pull, it would be doing this through the graph. So I knew right then and there that it had something to do with the ignition, but I wasn't 100% sure. So we'll, we'll maybe throw an update in here, maybe not, maybe it'll be next video, who knows. I do need to still get this onto a dyno, so that's still in the works. Um, I was thinking about taking it down to Haltech uh, with Jarvis, but I just need to find somewhere where it might be a little bit more local, a little closer, obviously. Um, if I can find a way to trailer it down to Haltech, then I'll just do that. But if I can't find a way to trailer it down, then anybody local in the Southern Ohio area, let me know if you guys have anybody that you go for dyno tunes within this um, region. and. Uh, you know, I'll try to see if I can't get something scheduled and really get this thing cleaned up and good to go. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. I feel like with the new camera setup, the new mics, some in-bay footage, exhaust note, I think this is going to be by far, I'm going to have to top this video from now on. That's, we'll just say that. I'll have to top this video from now on. But... With that being said, I'm in this one here. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.